Today I'm going to show you how to create a helical sweep. I started here by creating just a round object. You can look at this as sort of a barrel, so to speak. It's about one and a quarter diameter OD, 20 inches long with a one inch ID. So first thing you're going to do is go up to the top of your screen, make sure you're on the model tab, find sweep, hit this down arrow and select helical sweep. Once you're in your helical sweep, just like with a regular sweep, you need to create a trajectory. So I'm going to go to references. They call this helix sweep profile. I'm going to hit define. And because I'm going to sweep along the axis down the barrel, I'm going to select this side plane here and sketch on the side. Now, typically, <clears throat> if you're creating a sweep in this style, you're going to need a diameter dimension uh, for the trajectory. So start by creating a center line down the middle. So we need that for the diameter dimension. Go up to the line. Actually, first I'm going to switch this so I can see the interior of this. So go to wireframe. And then I'm going to have it sweep right along this ID. So I'm going to add this as a reference. From here, I can select my line. I recommend starting it at least a couple pitches away from the beginning of your barrel. Unless for some reason you're running a sweep inside of something where it can't extend beyond the part. So I'm going to start here all the way across and go through the end to make sure that my sweep finishes cleanly. After this, I'm going to add dimensions to the end. I'm going to make my pitch like a half, so I'll make this one inch. Do the same over here. It doesn't necessarily have to be that long. You really just need one profile's width to make sure that it looks normal. And then I can go ahead and hit OK. Now from here, I can either change my pitch here or up here. I'll make my pitch 0.5. And then here's where you're going to change whether it's a right-handed sweep or a left-handed sweep. Obviously important if you are creating a thread, for example. Now before I go into my section, I'm going to say that this sweep is going to remove material. Just because it's right there. And then I'm going to hit Sketch. This is automatically going to rotate me so that I'm normal to my trajectory. Okay, now from here, again, I'm going to need a center line. You can see it's not going to snap to my reference here, so that's okay. So I'm just going to put that in like that. And I'm going to make it coincident to my axis. This will allow me when I create my rectangle here. Here's the point where I started my trajectory. <clears throat> Create a little rectangle here. If I wanted it to be centered about it, I could do that. I'm just going to make it easy. Go up here. I'll make my rectangle or my sweep profile. Let's make it 50 thousandths. And then I'm going to add a diameter dimension in by grabbing the outside line, then the center line, then the outside line again. And when I middle click, it's going to give me a diameter over here. And let's say my diameter is going to be 1.06, so 1 to 60. Now from here, I can hit OK. You can see it previews my sweep along here. It's also the way you would create a spring. And when I hit OK and switch back to Shaded with Edges, I'll turn off my datums see a little more easily. When I rotate this around, you can sweep, see that my sweep started from the beginning here, cuts through, goes around at a 0.5 pitch all the way to the end, and we can see because of the way we modeled it at the end here, it also finishes all the way through and runs out. 
and that's how you create a helical sweep.